So we're outside a pub called The Arrow in Rochester. Why is it spelt Ye Arrow? I'm sure you've seen this spelling before. Well, it actually dates back to the time of the 1400s when the printing press was brought to Britain. Prior to that, the dental fricative, which is a TH as we now spell it, words like this, there, that, though, or think, thought, throw, these are two versions of the dental fricative, hard and soft, that used to be spelt with one character, thorn or eth. And both of these characters have disappeared because of the printing press. Where did it originate? The printing press came from Germany. And that language, German, has no dental fricative. So when the printing press came here, there was neither a thorn nor an eth. And people working in the printing industry were trying to spell words like the and this, and without the thorn to spell the as a two-letter word, they used the most similar that they could find, and the Y was the most similar shape to the thorn. Later on, people would use this spelling to reminisce about the old times before the TH spelling came to fruition. So that's why we end up with ye instead of the or the. Now what's special about this pub? Well, nothing about the location other than the fact that it has one of the most magnificent views in Rochester. So, it's not always about how special or historic the pub in question is. Often it's about how historic or special the location it sets and the opportunity it gives you to see something like this without needing an excuse. After all you just sat there enjoying a drink and next thing you know you're staring at a thousand year old castle. Now this was originally a Roman settlement. This is a very old plot of land when it comes to our culture, the building of the western world. This was built by a Norman Gundolf, the Bishop of Rochester, who was the architect for William the Conqueror. So he also, you might notice the shape of the tower, is a bit like the White Tower in London. He built both. Now this castle was famously sieged under King John, the evil King John, in 1215 under what we call the First Baron's War. I won't go into express detail, but there's a very interesting story which Rick has just told, and you'll be seeing that. The other story, well, it, it, it was three main sieges. The two that mainly interest me, the other, apart from King John's, was the Second Baron's War, which happened in the 1260s between Henry III, John's son, and Simon de Montfort. And that was a, another epic battle between the barons and the monarch. And this is another prime location for that story. It's also relevant with Cromwell during the, the so-called Civil War, and that's relevant when it comes to the stunning cathedral, as known as Rochester Cathedral, which sits just behind this beautiful tree here. So, if I was to do Rochester justice, I'd stand here for three quarters of an hour, banging on about Restoration House and all of the beautiful parts, and historic parts of the town. But instead, what I'm gonna do is highlight that a pub like Ye Arrow, or The Arrow, rather, are not so much historic. The ground it's sitting on is definitely historic, but, cameraman, pan back here for me. Sometimes, as I said, a pub is just a wonderful opportunity to observe something as gracious, historically cultural, and as fascinating as Rochester Castle. <laughs> 